Leave a comment down below now and just think about which one do you guys think is going to win right here. This video is brought to you by Brenda Work. If you want to improve your problem solving skills and be in the community with people who like math around the world, be sure you guys go check them out. Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to approximate integrals. And in particular, we'll be focusing on the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine of x squared dx. This is a famous one. Some of you guys may comment this is the first new integral. Yes, but that's later on. And if you want, you can try to do some usual technique to integrate cosine of x squared, but I'll tell you, it's not going to work. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Simpsons rule and also Taylor series to take care of this for you guys. And after you guys finish watching the video, be sure you leave a comment down below and let us know which method that you like more. And this right here is also a really good practice question for your Cal2 class, especially if you have to take your Cal2 final soon. And best of luck on that as well. Anyway, we are going to start off the you know, Simpsons rule. Here we go. This integral is approximately, by the Simpsons rule, I will write down the formula for you guys first. We have the delta x over 3. And y over 3, you can just imagine you're using parabolas to do approximation for this. And when you integrate parabola, when you have the x squared term, you get the over 3, right? And be sure you guys go check out Brilliant Work because they have detailed explanations on the Simpsons rule. I will have the link in the description for you. And then next, you are going to multiply by f of the first x value. So usually we just write the s, x not like this. And then next, right here, you are going to multiply by 4. 4 times f at the next x value, and we just write the s, x1 like this. And then next, you are going to be adding 2 times f at the next x value, which will just write the s, x2 like this. So, the idea is that you begin at 1 right here, and then 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, and so on like this. And this right here, I'll just put down plus, dot, 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 but it has to stop. This is only finite, okay? And I'll just write down the last one right here. When you have the last one, it's just going to be 1 as well, just like the first. So you just put down f at the last x value, and we'll just write the s, x, n for this. Okay, and now you have to remember the one before the last one, so the second to the last one right here, it's actually also 4 times f of x at the previous x value, so I'll write as n minus 1, like this. So you can imagine 1, 1 on the very outside, and then 4 fourths, and then 2 two twos, and so on. So here are the things that you have to remember. First of all, this is the notation. Right here, this right here is just going to be my first x value. And you can also call this to be a, or x0, doesn't matter, but I'll just call this to x0. And then this right here is the last x value, which is this. This is just going to be xn. And once again, this is the traditional a to b, so you can also use that, all right? And the function, of course, this right here, so it's just label f of x in our case is cosine of x squared. Now, what is delta x? First of all, you have to know the interval, the length of the interval that you are integrating. In this case, we have 0 to 1, right? So for delta x, what you are going to do is, you are going to do xn, and some people do just put on b minus a, which is OK. xn minus x0, this is OK. And then divided by however many interval that you want to use. So divided by n. However, here's the catch. So right here, n has to be even. And in fact, I'm going to make this fair for both methods. Before we start, we have to choose an n value, and the n value has to be even. And perhaps I will just write this down right here. We will be using n equals 4. Because if I use n equals 2, that's too lazy. If I use n equals 6, that's too long. It's no good. N equals 4, I think it's just about right. And then right here, I'll also be using the first 4 non-zero term for the Taylor series expansion for this right here. So 4 and 4, right? This is how it can be even. Okay, so here we go. We are going to let N to be 4. So if you would like, you can just calculate delta X first. Delta X is just going to be 1 minus 0 and then divided by 4. So it's just 1 minus 0 over 4, which is just... 1 over 4. 
So that's pretty much it. And then let's see. And usually we'll just write this down as, as n. And I will just write down this right here as n, which is now as 4 because we're using 4 for this. This is equal to because this is the name of the Simpsons uh, formula. Delta x, which is just 1 over 4, and then you always divide it by 3, all right? And then you are going to multiply by, okay, what's f of x naught? Well, x naught is 0, so we just have cosine of 0 squared. So perhaps I just put this down, cosine of 0 squared. That's the first, you know. And then next you add 4. And then what's the next x value though? This is what you can do. You can just make a quick sketch right here. You go from 0 to 1. And you are going to cut this into four pieces. So you have this, this, that. So this right here is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and then last one is four fourths, like that. So it shouldn't be too hard. The next one is just cosine, and then you are going to put in one fourth into the function. So it's just one over four, and then you square that like this, right? And then you just continue. And then the last one, hey, it's at one. And look at we. The, the one before the last one is 4, and that's exactly what I said. So anyway, the last one, the coefficient right here is 1, and you have cosine of 1 squared, right? So that's pretty much it. And in the end, you are just going to use your calculator to do this. But the good thing is that you can just use a pretty decent scientific calculator, anything that has cosine, right? That's all. And be sure your calculator is a the radiance mode, right? And if you use a calculator, you are going to get approximately 0 0.90401, right? Like this. So this right here is the answer from Simpson. Thanks to Simpson, we have that. Now let's talk about Taylor. Yes, this is the dad. I don't know what you want to call Simpsons, maybe. I don't know, man. Just leave a comment down below. Because the uncle is Lagrange, so I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, to take care of this, as I said earlier, we cannot integrate cosine of x squared. But if we change this to the Taylor series form, then we can just integrate them term by term. So thanks to the dad, Taylor, let me write this down for you guys. We have to know that cosine of just x, what this is going to give us. Notice you have the even powers and also the even factorials. And then this right here alternates. So this is how you can remember cosine x. Here we have cosine x squared. So what we will do is, well, this is the integral from 0 to 1. I will just plug in x squared into all the x right here. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. And as I said, I will just use the first full non-zero term. So, the first term is still 1, because when you plug in, there's no x right here. Next, I will have minus, and then I have x squared. I should also color the square to be red. I plug in x squared into this x, and then I will just square that. So I get x to the fourth power, and then divided by 2 factorial. Next, I put x squared right here, and I raise that to the fourth power, and then you just multiply the powers, so we get x to the eighth power, and then divide it by 4 factorial. And of course, you can multiply the factorials now, but uh, I will leave that to you. Lastly, right here, this is minus, and then you put x squared right here, square and then raise to the sixth power, you get x to the twelfth power over 6 factorial, like this. And then we're going to just stop right here. That's why I only put down the approximation because I didn't, I'm not going to keep on going forever. So I put on dx. Ah, how wonderful is this? Remember back in the days you had to do integration by parts, partial fractions, tricks up, whatever stuff, right? Now, thanks to Taylor, once you change this to the Taylor series, we can just integrate this term by term. And this is going to be really easy. I'm going to put an equal sign because this is equal to that. But in the end, this will give us approximation to whatever we get right here, all right? Anyway, integrating 1 in the x world, we get x. Integrating this, you add 1 to the power, which is 5, and divide it by that. So you have minus, and let me just write down x to the fifth power over 5 times 2 factorial. 
And then we add, and then you add one to the power, so it's x to the ninth power over divided by nine times four factorial. And then minus, you add one to the power, which is 13, and then divided by 13, and then multiply by six factorial. Oh my God, life is so easy when we have Taylor to back us up. That's why this is the dad. And then of course, don't forget, we go from zero to one. So when you're plugging one in here, of course it's just one. And then minus, this is just one. And multiply this out if you want, this is a five times two pretty much, so it's 10. And then you add, put in one, so it's one. And then over, this right here is, well, four times three times two, which is 24 times nine, which is uh, 216. <laughs> and then this right here is minus, on the top, it's easy, it's one, over 13 times, this is 720, so 9360. And we're done, pretty much, because if you plug in zero, everybody has an x, so you're pretty much just minus zero right here, so it's like a big zero. So this is pretty much the idea. And notice, you don't need any fancy calculator because this right here is just fraction. So you can just add this up and then get approximation. If you don't like approximation, you can just get your common denominator and all that, and that will be pretty cool. But I will give you guys approximation so we can compare this with that. If you use Taylor series right here, we get 0 0.904523, all right? So, this right here is the answer from the dad, Taylor. Well, at the moment, I'm not telling you guys what the answer is by using like advanced calculators or a computer. This is the answer that we got from Simpsons, and this right here is the answer that we got from Taylor. And as you can see, 9045, 9045. It's pretty close to each other, right? So they, are, you know, they agree to a certain degree. Leave a comment down below now, and just think about which one do you guys think it's going to win right here, right? So just pause the video and think about it. Go ahead and do it. So hopefully you guys actually just you know, look at this and then think about which one you think it's actually going to win. And now the moment of truth, the answer to that is 0 0.904524 by using Wolfram Alpha or any kind of computer software or maybe a graphing calculator. And as you can see, in this case, yes, the dad is the dad, right? And I think this is a really fair comparison because as I said, I use four right here. If you see, it's pretty much four sub intervals. Uh, and this right here, I am using four, the first four non-zero terms. So I think this is a pretty fair comparison. Of course, you can also try to do n equals six right here and maybe use the, you know, the first six non-zero terms and make a comparison whatsoever but I'm going to leave that to you guys. Anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, and as I said, this is a really good review for your Cal2 class. And before we go, let me just tell you guys more about Boolean.org. Boolean.org is a place for the people who like math. So if you join the challenge of mathematics, or if you want to just learn more about how to solve interesting and challenging math questions, or maybe you just want to see more cool topics in math, be sure you guys go check them out. They offer a lot of interesting courses, such as discrete math, number theory, probability, differential equations, and of course, calculus for you guys. And their courses are designed in an interesting and challenging way, so you guys won't be bored. They have quizzes and tests, so you can make sure that you can actually solve the questions before you move on to the next chapter. And because they also believe that the best way to learn is by practice, therefore they offer new prompts a week for you guys each every week, ranging from basic to really hard, which is really fun right there. You guys can go sign up for a free account, you guys can keep your progress. And also, if you guys are interested to sign up for the annual premium subscription, be sure you guys use the link brenda.org slash blackpenrepen. This way you guys can get 20% off discount if you are one of the first 200 people to sign up with the link. And in the end, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully you guys all like this video. Leave a comment down below, let me know if you guys have any questions. And as always, that's it.